Hello and welcome to Braintree High School here for some Cranberry League playoff action as Braintree taking the first pitch here which is fouled off. Mike Walson bringing the coverage as it'll be the Lions and the White Sox here in the best of three. Braintree the home team as the higher seed, the one seed against number eight Northeast Lions as Talachi will lead things off. The right fielder against the Braintree starting pitcher. Again, Braintree dominating the Cranberry League regular season as has been the case really the last 10 years now as the pitch is in there for another strike. So a couple of quick strikes here out of the gate. It is a seven inning game, but there is a slaughter rule that could be in effect as the first out comes here on the strikeout. So very quickly, the opening out. White Sox really have really dominated the league, not only with their pitching, but the offense has been unstoppable and something here today, if the Lions want to have an opportunity, you got to try and keep Braintree low scoring. It's really your, your main option if you want to try and have a chance to beat this team. But it is a three game series, so you have to win two anyway. As this one is knocked towards third base and a nice play there, cutting that off. The throw takes him off the bag, but the tag is applied and he's out at first base. So it wasn't an accurate throw, but nice play over at first as the tag was applied right on the shoulder on the way by for the second out. As Marshall down. So that saves an error. First pitch, a strike. As this one's ground in the middle of the infield, it deflects off the mound, and then the play at second is in time. As that will end at one, two, three, they go. A very quick inning here for Walker as he gets the Lions in order and the White Sox with a chance in a scoreless game. Bottom half of the first, and the first pitch is going to be a called strike down at the knees. Ranger losing their final regular season game here at home. Heading into the postseason, obviously high expectations. They're on the table here. Has the pitch on the way to Katie and he hits this one up in the air. Left fielder coming in as is the center fielder makes the catch. And the first out. Nice day for baseball, other than the really hot temperatures. Right around 90 degrees at first pitch. A little bit of a wind as this one's popped up and the catcher may have a play. Out in foul grounds, he does make the play. So two quick outs here to begin the bottom half of the first. And the Lions did play Braintree in a close game earlier in the season, three to one. And that's really what they're hoping to do here. If Braintree starts putting up some runs, it's gonna be very difficult to keep up with them. A team that can score really 10 plus runs a game, no problem when they're clicking. And this is a team that does not allow many runs either. So really got to try and keep it close if you want to have a chance to win. So the first two outs for the White Sox as the pitch on the way and down at the knees, another strike. A lot of strikes being thrown from the starting pitcher Smith, left-hander. Pitch on the way, and it's upstairs to the Braintree shortstop running. And a ground ball, this one to first base, but a foul ball. He really has used that right side of the field here this season, including a couple balls that he's been able to pull right down the line for extra bases, whether it was a double or a triple. Really a good fielder, as well as a hitter. Goes down to a weird angle there to throw that pitch and missed outside. The 
laid his pitch and he hits him around the shoulder. And a 2 0 base runner hit batter. Opens the door for the inning to continue. See if the White Sox can do something with it. Finish the regular season 21 and 3. Again, losing that last game of the regular season. But really no concern there. Already locked into the one spot in the playoffs. And this one popped up a mile high on the infield. Should be playable. As the second baseman doesn't see it, and nobody makes a play on it as it drops on the infield, and that is a really tough one to swallow for the defense. So a hit batter and what turns out to be an infield single on a ball that should have been caught. And second baseman not really getting much help from his fielders, which shouldn't happen out there. Certainly not making excuses for Whiting catch it, but you gotta get some help from your teammates, whether it's the pitcher or the first baseman shortstop right near you. But it opens the door for Braintree with two outs, now with runners at the corners. So a hit batter and an, what turns out to be a hit. And now a ground ball, this one to third base, a nice lunging play, the throw to second, and he got him at second base on a force out that ends the inning. So the White Sox threatened in the inning, thanks in part to a couple of Miscues, one by the pitcher, one by the second baseman. It turns out to be nothing for the White Sox here in the first inning. They score this game as we head to the second. Top half of the second, first pitch, and that one down in the dirt. Another pitch low from the left-hander. Pitch, knocked foul. Hit that one pretty well. So the White Sox had an opportunity in the bottom half of the first to push across a run. Weren't able to capitalize. And it remains a scoreless game here in the second. As the leadoff man, Pathello, with an opportunity. And that's a pitch outside. He walked him here to begin the inning. So to bring up Gordon. So the first base runner of the game for the visitors. As the eight seed in the postseason, bring through the one. And the pitch on the way that is pounded in for a strike. The Lions had to win a game before this just to get in a playing game to get to face Braintree here in the best of two out of three. Winning a close game, six to four. And the pitch down and in. Nice stop behind the plate by the Braintree catcher. Leadoff man aboard. Very short lead over there at first base as it straightens him up. Not a called strike. I was hoping for it as the first baseman Gordon gets an opportunity here. Man on base at first was Bethello who misread the pop up on the infield that nearly opened the door for Branker to score the game's first run. This one hit weakly towards first in a foul ball. Again, a very small lead over there at first, and the pitcher Walker hoping he can induce a ground ball double play. This one's knocked foul. Pitch 
pitch on the way, and that's in there, strike three, and down on strikes he goes looking. Second strikeout. Instead of bring up Kelly. The shortstop. Two brothers on the team, Matt and Max. This is Max Kelly getting an opportunity here with one out. Again, very or not a recognizable lead over there at first. Surprise, barely a step off that bag at first base. And here in a game where you really need to give yourself an opportunity to break up a potential double play, that's gonna be very difficult to do with that kind of lead as this one's knocked off the screen. And he's not even being held on either, which should open the door for a bigger lead. Lefty winds and fires, damn, missed upstairs. So leadoff walk, then a strikeout. One on, one down, here in the top of the second in a scoreless game. Pitch upstairs. Breeze picking up a little bit here. Brantry with some action out in the bullpen. And the pitch on the way, and that's cut on and missed. Good fastball, got it right by him. He's fanned two already, but now ahead in the count. Left-hander winds and fires, and he gets the called third strike again. So the second straight batter down on strikes looking. And now the other brother, Matt Kelly, playing left field, batting with two outs now, the runner at first. Three strikeouts for the starter walker, maybe done after two innings with the action continuing out there in the bullpen. And the pitch, and this one slashed towards third base, that's a fair ball right down the line. And the runner will advance to second. So now two on here with two outs on the first hit of the game for the Lions, able to take that one the other way, right down the line. So the Lions making it a little difficult here for the White Sox in the second inning. A couple base runners after Branker stranded two in their bottom half of the first. Pitch that's in there for a strike. So it's now the pitcher Smith who will try to help out his own cause as he takes the pitch low. Two on and two down, top half of the second here in game one of the best of three series between Braintree and the Northeast Lions. New to the league this year. Getting into the postseason with a win right beforehand over Plymouth. A late swing and a miss on that one. It's the White Sox defense looking to make a play here to end the inning. Wind picking up a bit. As Walker winds and fires and a ground ball middle of the infield. This will be a tough play. And the shortstop with the throw, able to get it there in time. And the stretch is there to make the play as they strand two here in the second inning. And that was a tough play to make. Frenchie was helped out by a little bit of a lack of speed there on the way down the line. And that ends the inning. So the White Sox in a scoreless game will get a chance to bat again in the bottom half of the second. Gain some back, and you got to pick up some of those RBI production issues that could be left by a void as the runner takes off on the first pitch. The pitch is strike, the throw to second, not in time. So two steals already in the inning. And the Lions got to be careful here in this second inning as the White Sox starting to get something going. 
Already scored a run. Got another runner at second with nobody out. Two singles, two stolen bases in the inning. As the left-hander ready, winds and fires. And a bunt try down the third baseline. That's a perfect bunt. And he is going to reach. Couldn't have dropped down a better bunt. And Muir will find his way on to first as Branch with the third single of the inning. That ball literally riding along the grass line right down that third base side. And a chance here for Levine with him at the corners. And the pitch drops in for a strike. So Smith, who was able to get out of some trouble back in the first, thanks in part to a mistake on the infield, but has allowed three consecutive hits to begin the inning. One run so far pushed across, and two more on. Runner takes off from first, and he'll get there no problem on a ball down in the dirt. So two RBI opportunity now. Base hit could score a couple. Defense playing very deep in center. Right field hugging down that line. Left field, they're pretty much straight up. As the infield now comes in, pitch and a ground ball tap foul. Facing off against the left-handed pitcher, ground ball middle of the infield. Runner not going, and the out is made at first base. So the infield being in there saved a run. Ground out for the first out of the inning. As Branch will bat through the order now for the second time. As Katie will lead things off. Top the order. And a ground ball hits sharply through the left side of the infield. That'll push one across. And they waved a second. And he will score on a two-run hit. Branch's fourth single of the inning. And that brings home two. And they've opened up a 3-0 lead. Right now, Branch are doing a good job of positioning their hits. as it brings up fair. 0 for 1 in the ball game. Got some good pop in his bat. One of the more dangerous hitters with home run power. And they have him picked off. Here's the throw and the tag. He has him over at second base. Pretty good pickoff move and had him leaning the other way. Had to be a perfect throw, which it was, and just barely got him over at second. Rancher continuing to try and run all over this pitching and catching attack as the pitch is grounded foul. So a 3-0 lead for the White Sox. Base is now clear. And two out. Bottom half of the second inning. Close pitch, call the ball. And the pitch is inside. Smith gets ready, winds and fires, and again, trying to elevate. Would not get a chase. And that one's down in the dirt, and he's able to earn a walk from it. Battling all the way back. So just the first walk surrendered. He has hit a batter. Of 
Four hits in the inning. Hey, Willie, here we go now. All singles to bring up Brennan, who was hit by a pitch back in the first. Some continued action out in the Braintree bullpen, presumably for the top of the third. Braintree has stolen a handful of bases in the inning alone, has also been caught stealing once. And the pitch, that's a strike. Not a ton of velocity from the starter. Trying to just keep the Braintree hitters off balance, but they've been able to get to him here in the inning. Another steal will occur here as the ball was dropped by the catcher. Probably was able to get there without a throw anyway. An accurate throw probably would not have had a chance to get him. So runner now at second base as the pitch is outside. And a sharp hit ball out to left field. It's going to drop down, and a runner will come towards the plate. Here comes the throw, and it's cut off as the throw to second is high and into center field. And now Brennan will march all the way to third. So an RBI hit turns into a couple extra bases as he's now at third. And Braintree has opened up a four-run lead. White Sox doing a much better job with some contact here in this inning as this one is foul a third. Off the hand of head coach PJ Thompson. So our second opportunity here for Foley who hit the ball a mile high up in the air on the infield. That was misplayed and now he sh sharply hits this one to left and it is caught out there and left to make a great play. And that saves what would have been another run. A great defensive play ends the inning. As Foley is retired, Braintree does strike for four here in the second. And we head to the third in a 4-0 game. Top half of the third. First pitch in there, first strike. Pitch drops in quickly ahead 0 2. And a fastball right by him. A strikeout to the number nine hitter McCorthy. Fourth strikeout of the outing. Again, Braintree continues to have some action in the bullpen. First out on a strikeout, back to the top of the order now. Or Talachi, who struck out to begin the game. The right fielder, and the pitch, knocked out of play. And the pitch down in the dirt. One hit up in the air, oh, and it's going to drop down just over the second baseman. So a blue pit. And a one-out base runner. Chance here for Marshall. He'll ground it out last time and hits it through the hole now. Back to back hits. So taking it the other way again. 
pretty impressive thing to do against the left-hander. So the Lions who trail 4-0 with a great opportunity to get back in this game. Trying to chip away at that four-run deficit. As Walker winds and fires and blows it by him on the fastball. Seems like the off-speed pitches have been the pitches they've been able to make contact on. Let's see if he uses a little bit more of the fastball. And the pitch and a ground ball. That might have been a broken bat. As the play is to second for one, back to first. The throw is going to be in time, and he got him at first on a bang-bang play. I thought he actually was able to beat that one out, but Braintree gets the benefit of a call on a very close play at first. Turns into a ground ball double play to end the inning. So the White Sox get out of it here in the third, a 4 nothing game. Bottom half of the third as the Lions not able to capitalize. A double play grounded in two, although it was a questionable call over at first. Both plays really were close. One on the force out and the other at the play at first base, but nonetheless, down 4 nothing, And pitching here, trying to keep the Braintree bats at bay. As Sharkey will lead things off, grounded out to third in his first time, leaving two base runners on. And this one hits sharply, middle of the infield. Shortstop, not able to make the play. And the runner will reach. Another playable ball there at short. Going to his right, or our right, his left. <coughs> Runner takes off and again gets caught trying to take another base as the throw he gets caught in a pickle now. And the tag will be applied in the back and for the second time in the ball game, Braintree has been picked off on the bases. So the pitcher who's been run on quite often early in this game for the second time, able to throw one over in that direction and caught him during the headlights there. It wasn't moving, just stopped. So that certainly changes the inning now as the pitch is high to Mendoza who singled last time. Off speed, this one hit hard out to left field. That's gonna hook down the line, that's a fair ball. As it one hops up off the fence, that's a easy double, stand up double with one out. First extra base hit of the game for the White Sox. Never know if that would have potentially scored a run if the runner wasn't picked off beforehand. But it opens the door for Smith who ripped an RBI hit First time, giving Braintree the lead at the time. It's now a 4-0 game, and Braintree with another opportunity to do some more damage. And the pitch, this one hit hard out to left center. That's gonna get down, that's in the gap. And the runner will score as Smith continues to just hammer the ball, an RBI double this time. From the seventh spot in the order, doing lots of damage Another RBI, he's got two in the game. And back-to-back -back doubles, they trade places. Again, another situation where there's been extra outs given on a ball that was misplayed by the shortstop to open the inning, although the runner was picked off. And now a hard hit ball through the right side by Muir as the runner will stop at third. His second single of the game, the first one, a bunt down the line. This time, cleanly through the right side. And it brings up Levine, who grounded out to second in his only plate appearance. The White Sox not mitching much the second time through the order. Lots of hits. Nine hits are ready for the White Sox just here in the third inning. As that's cut on a miss, big swing. Off speed pitch. Nobody warming still for the Lions. We're 
right now trail by five. And the pitch on the way, and that one tap foul. Again, going down to that three-quarter angle. Lefty-lefty matchup. Trying to use some deception here against the Braintree attack. See if Muir takes off at first. They've already picked off a couple. As that one's down in the dirt this time. So Mendoza and Smith with back-to-back -back doubles. And now this one ripped to right field. That's going to get into the gap. And here comes another extra base hit as one is pushed across. And now the second runner waved around as Levine will get to third on a two-run triple. So three extra base hits in the inning. And the White Sox opening the door here, a 7-0 lead. And this is going to look like it's going to prompt some action out in the bullpen, although things starting to get out of control for the visitors. They don't have a ton of reserves. It's like just two or three players over there on the bench. So a lot of production down towards the bottom half of the order. Mendoza Smith with doubles. You were with two hits down at the eight spot, and then the RBI, two RBI triple by Levine. As this one's hit sharply, and that is somehow made over at third, and a great play across, and that saves a run as Katie robbed of an extra base. Braintree hitting everything hard here in the inning. Unfortunate there for the Braintree outfielder. Got a tippy cap that time. That was just a great defensive play. Haven't seen a ton of them made by this defense in this game, but one of their better plays. Call it the hot corner for a reason. That was exactly it. As the pitch is outside, too fair. We're here in the ball game. Is drawn a walk. He's also struck out. Seven nothing lead with runner at third and a pop up in foul grounds. That's going to drop down harmlessly. Some action stirring now in the bullpen. So four runs in the second, three so far here in the third. And the pitch is outside. I'll start and stop over at third for Levine. Is fair, another mile high hit towards right field. And the runner, or the fielder, does not see it as the ball drops again. And the second time here in this game, they've lost one in the sun. And it's just opening up now a route for the White Sox, who lead 8-0. Fair ends up finding his way to second base on a ball that clearly should have been caught. And a handful of them here in this game. And against the number one seed, they've made at least four miscues defensively in this game, even though two of them haven't actually counted as errors because there was no contact with the baseball. And this one grounded to the right side, and a nice play by the second baseman. Pitcher trying to get there, and the runner will reach. So Brennan able to use his wheels and find his way aboard. Pitcher just a little bit late there, getting to the bag. Pretty good throw there from the second baseman, who made a nice play ranging in that direction. And they're at the corners now. Third time now that Brennan's been on base. He's been hit by a pitch. And now consecutive singles. As Foley drills it to deep left field, but a foul ball. That was certainly home run power, no doubt. That was a mile gone. And Foley jumped all over that pitch. And that was actually him that hit that sharp hit to left that was caught on a sinking line. So he was hoping to 
come through here in the big spot. Has that pitch up and over his head. Ironically enough, here in this ball game, where Brantry has scored eight runs, none have come by the long ball. It's been, for the most part, singles that have done the damage. But here in this inning, a couple doubles, a triple. And some more bad defense. Game two will be on Tuesday night as the pitch is inside. White Sox, the way things are going right now, could sweep the three-game series. Best of three. Yeah, this one tapped back and out of play. So Foley, who jumped after that first pitch and had home run power, but foul of the left field pole. Trying to replicate that swing. Pitch and this one hit hard over to left again, same spot, and he makes the catch on the sinking liner as Foley is retired for the second time on a ball that was just scorched to left field. But Branchy does some more damage. They score four more times here in the third and lead eight nothing as we head to the fourth. Bottom half of the inning. As this one is, sorry, make the top half of the fourth inning. Get a little ahead of myself here. Braintree has scored four runs in each of the last two innings. And the pitch on the way is cut on and missed. Off speed pitch, good sweeping breaking ball. So it'll be the four, five, and six hitters in the order. As Walker continues into his now fourth inning of work, Left-hander winds and fires, and a weak ground ball back to the mound as he'll underhanded flip it in time for the opening out. So you can certainly see the players starting to look a little deflated out there after keeping it a scoreless game after one, but Raintree has since scored eight runs through the last two innings. as the first pitch is high. Gordon, who struck out looking his first time, 0 for 1 in this ball game, and it's tapped out of play. Lefty winds and fires, and a good off-speed pitch. Got it by him. That one's upstairs. Full count now. And a swing and a miss and a strikeout. So ground out to the mound and a strikeout. Two quick outs. So we might see some substitutions at some point here in the bottom half of the fourth inning for the White Sox. See a couple players getting a helmet. It's Walker cruising through this ball game right now. Staked out to an 8-0 lead. He's allowed three hits to this point. Struck out five as the pitch in for a strike. Pitch just missed. Pitch on the way and it's spoiled off by the hitter Kelly, who struck out his first time. to the knees and he just missed and a walk occurs here with two outs. 
Pretty close pitch. So base runner here with two down. Short lead at first base and the pitch on the way and that's there for a strike. Lefty ready and a good pitch that drops in for another strike. Strike pitch just missed off the plate. So base runner at first, two outs. As Walker looking to get through this fourth inning. And the pitch missed off the plate. Kelly one for one. Had a single slap down the third base line his first time as Foley holds the runner close at first. Long look in, and Walker winds and fires, missed down in the dirt. So the count full after walking one just a moment ago, now in jeopardy of putting a second straight on. So White Sox look to get out of this inning without any further damage. The lefty ready, and a ground ball. This is the right side of the infield as Muir over makes the play and gets it there in time. And the runner is stranded here in the inning. So now three base runners left on in the ball game for the Lions who trail eight nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Bottom half of the fourth and the first pitch is in there for a strike. So some substitutions for the White Sox. As the pitch missed, Scorm hits in place of Sharkey. Frenchy High graduate. And this one cut on and missed. Still the same pitcher out there for the Lions. He's been out there now into his fourth inning. Allowed eight runs, but has not got much help from his defense. He had a throwing error himself. He's also picked off a couple of potential base dealers. Big leg kick and a big cut and a miss and Gorham down on strikes. So a pinch hitting roll, goes down. Base is clear with one out. And the pitch, and a hard hit ball to left field. Gets past the glove of the third baseman. And the third hit of the game for Mendoza. A couple singles and a double for Mendoza. Chance now for Tevinen, who's batting in the catcher spot for Smith. And a ball that's spoiled back and out of play. Runner at first with one out. And throw over to first. And the direction of first base with the throw. And the pitch is cut on and missed.
White Sox hitting the cover off the ball here the last couple innings as this one is over to third base. The play is to second for the force out back to first and a play at first that takes him off the bag. He's safe at first. Certainly had an opportunity to turn the double play, but just able to get there. Going down as a fielder's choice. And the pitch on the way. And this one hit a mile high to left field. Continuing to carry back there. Back towards the wall and up off the fence. As the runner will score all the way from first base as the throw to the plate will not be in time. And that ball was just a couple feet away from leaving the yard. It stayed up in the air a long time. The left fielder looked like he was going to make a play on it. Just wasn't able to make a play and ends up scoring another run. And the White Sox get their ninth run of the ball game now. As the runner is at second and the pitch. And this one's popped up on the infield. Pretty easy play over there for the first baseman who's making a much tougher play of what the second baseman could have made. And that ends the inning. So a runner stranded here in the inning. But the White Sox add to their lead, lead 9-0 as we head to the fifth. First pitch is cut on and missed. Yeah. Top of the fifth inning. Walker back out for another inning. Eight, nine, and one in the order as this one's hit hard to third but caught on a line drive. French has made just about every play here in this ball game. Got a lot of good bounces. And the defense for the Northeast Lions really has not been good in this game. And it's opened the door for Brancher to have a couple big innings, which has been the difference in this ball game. Four run second, four run third. That was all the offense Brancher would need. As that's cut on and missed. Late swing and a miss. Down at the knees, he just missed. Lefty ready, and he pounds it in there for strike three. Second time, McGorthy has been down on strikes, this time looking. Six strikeout for the starter. Two quick outs here in the fifth inning. Off-speed pitch drops in there for another strike. Third time now through the order for the Lions as Talachi leads things off. Top of the order. And this one popped up towards the stands. So two strikes now on the hitter. Strikeout in the inning so far as Walker winds and fires and just missed down at the knees. On a good spot down there. Very tough pitch for the hitter to make contact on. Trying to do it again. And this time he may have gone around. No, he did not on the check swing.
catcher took that one on a hop. Head coach Thompson, along as the pitcher, as well as Foley at first, checking in to make sure their catcher is okay. Temenin, who came in in replace, a replacement of Smith, in a pinch hitting roll, top half or the bottom half of the inning, as that one just missed. And what looked like could have been a call third strike a couple pitches ago turns into a walk now with two outs. Just the second walk allowed by Walker here today. First pitch, and that's in there for a strike. Chance now for Marshall, who singled last time, has also grounded out, he's one for two. Base runner leads at first, and a late swing and a miss. Swung right over the top of that. See if Walker goes to the fastball, trying to blow him away. Decent lead at first, and the runner goes. The pitch is right in there, and down on strikes he goes. And that ends the inning. So the White Sox continue to just dominate this ball game as the ball game continues as we move on in a 9-0 game in the bottom of the fifth. Bottom half of the fifth inning in a 9-0 game. The White Sox trying to end things here in the inning. We get one more run. Get them this game in a 10 run fashion, slot rule. And a ground ball, right side of the infield, second baseman making the ranging play, and he's out at first. pitch and that one missed. Chance here for fair in a 9 nothing game. And this one drilled out to left center. That's going to drop down and that's will be extra bases as he heads down to second base without a throw. Second double of the ball game for Fair. And we'll see now if Brennan has an opportunity here to end this ball game with a base hit. French tries to win this one in a shortened game after just five innings with a 10 run lead. Pitch on the way, and that one missed high. pretty quickly for the most part, but White Sox doing most of the damage in the second and third inning. As this one's hit on the right side of the infield, tough play, it gets through as the base runner will come around and he will score as Braintree with the 10 run margin. And that will end this ball game here in a shortened game in five innings as the White Sox win game one of the best of three here today at home as Brennan comes through with the base hit that scores fair to win this game with a 10-run margin. And the White Sox take a 1-0 series lead. They'll have another game here at home on Tuesday as they try and close things out against the number eight seed Northeast Lions who beat Plymouth earlier today just to get to face Braintree in this game. And again, a lot of damage done in innings two and three, four runs in each of those as Braintree scores in each of the last four innings of this game after a scoreless first. And a handful of players to look at here today for the White Sox. Smith, notably with a couple RBI from the seven spot and the catcher spot. Two run hit from Katie 
and then Brennan with a couple RBI, including the game-winning walk-off one there as the Slaughter Rule 10-run margin is the final score here today. Thanks for watching here on BCAM TV. On behalf of our camera person, Christine Patterson, I'm Mike Wassel. We'll see you next time.